Greetings and welcome to an LGR oddware follow-up of sorts, I suppose you could call this, because today we're going to be looking at the Game Shark uh, computer game enhancer for Windows 95 and 98 games <laughs> from the late 90s. Uh, yeah, this is a cheat device for PCs, and yeah, this is very much just a US localization of the Daytel PC Action Replay for Windows 95 that I covered on LGR a little while back. Of course, in that video, I established that it pretty much doesn't work with my entire library of US PC games. And then I discovered that there was a US version sold under the GameShark brand. Same basic capabilities, except that it was meant to be used with US games, whereas the Daytel Action Replay in the UK was meant to use with UK games. And you know, there's enough difference, I guess, in the code. I mean, the PCs don't exactly have regions, but it's just the code, I guess, that's a little bit different. You know, it's expecting either a different patch version number or just the, the UK release is different enough in the code base that it just didn't work with it. So maybe this will work with those same games. We're gonna try the same games that I did in the action replay video, but I also just wanna take a look at this package here because uh, not only is it very long and barely fits in the frame. <laughs> it's really tall. I assume this has a VHS tape in here. The action replay version did. Um, that was a PAL VHS, so I wasn't able to play that. It had a digitized version of the tape on CD, so we were able to see the video anyway. But uh, this one is, of course, a US release, uh, even though right there it, just, it still says made in England, so I guess it was still made in England. But yeah, Interact, a Rekuton company, Mm, yeah, they released a whole bunch of random uh, peripherals and things back in the day. I had a bunch of them myself, but I never once saw this in stores. This is something that somebody found. Um, thank you for sending the links my way. I found this on eBay and got it pretty cheap. And yeah, it's apparently new-ish in box. So yeah, let's take a look at it. I really don't know what's inside here yet. Uh, just due to the shape of it, I assume a VHS tape. In fact, I think I saw a VHS on one of the other listings for uh, this US version of the Game Shark for PCs, but I don't, I don't actually know. And then the uh, the action replay that had a parallel port dongle, effectively used just for DRM, as far as I could tell. But yeah, I don't know if this has that or not, or if it's just the trainer software. Hmm. Okay, there's a dongle. Huh. Yes, this looks mighty similar. So let's see here. Can you swim with sharks? What is this? Become a member of dangerous waters. Oh dear. Well, that's a cheesy thing. <laughs> yeah, just it's just registration stuff, so uh, that's fine. Warranty information, okay. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any documentation with this one either. Um, same with the PC Action Replay from Daytel in the UK. It's really just this CD-ROM. Can't get it out of there. Here we go. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, you don't get any actual manual or anything. There might be some... There's like a help file on the disk. Uh, at least that's how it was with the Action Replay, so I suppose we'll see. I'm not expecting much more. I'm, I'm just really thinking this is going to be a rebadging and slightly different software to work with the US games. Yeah, this is the exact same dongle that the Action Replay had. So you got one side that plugs into uh, the parallel port on your computer and then a pass-through so you can plug in whatever parallel port devices without taking up the port. And yeah, uh, if you want to see what's inside here, it's, you know, I'm assuming it's the same thing as the Action Replay. I showed that in the Oddware video. So that's all that is. Really just for copy protection, as far as I know. And this is interesting. Yeah, the tape seems to be pretty identical. So it even has the same like little yellow VDC sticker there. Looks like uh, November 29th, 1998. Neat. Well, uh, we'll put this in the VCR first and see what this is. I guess I'll be able to play it since it's NTSC. That's nice. Uh, and then just install it. You know, this is going to go into the parallel port. I'll install the software, but yeah, uh, tape first.
Game Shark is the ultimate game enhancer for PC. Now you can rewrite the rules. Game Shark takes the latest and greatest brain-busting games and blows them apart. So far this is identical in terms of script content and whatnot <laughs> to the action replay. Just, uh, you know, different person narrating it and different logos. If you've experienced the humiliation of crashing out at level 4 of your favorite action adventure game, then Game Shark is the only tool you'll ever need to even the odds. But Game Shark doesn't just help you to complete your games more easily. A unique library of game enhancements can actually add hours of gameplay to your favorite games. The okay, I already like this one better just due to this B-roll of that late 90s machine here. <laughs> It's just, this is awesome. Routines that change the way in which the game works. This could mean you have unlimited energy, extra lines, invincibility, or indeed any number of special effects. So, for example, when playing Army Men, why not activate the code for infinite health so you can explore the levels extensively without being killed? Okay, well, it really is just the exact same thing, so. Uh, yeah, it might be on the CD as well. Well, let's go ahead and find out though. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug the dongle into the Windows 98 uh, capture box, the lazy green giant here. And then let's get the same four games I tried last time and try them out with this. See if they fare any better. Uh, or not. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not powering on at all. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, I'm assuming it's not the Game Shark that killed it. No, I mean, I don't know. That didn't make any sense. Yeah, it's just totally not turning on anymore. Um, I guess the power supply went or something, because, yeah. Man, rest in peace, Lazy Green Giant. Yeah, I just made this thing. Uh, I'm going to replace the power supply sometime, whatever. Let's try another PC. Well, I'm bummed out about that, but I'll get it fixed. Until now, though, we've got the Packard Bell 955 that I restored on LGR a while back. And uh, yeah, we've got the GameShark software installed. So far, it's identical as expected, so let's just try it out. Well, I see where 90% of the budget went. All right, well, this is looking pretty much identical. Wow, that's one laggy mouse. I was curious about the about video, if that was the same as the... Yeah. Looks the same. Game Shark is the ultimate game enhancer for the PC. Oh. Now you can rewrite the rules. Game Shark takes the latest and greatest brain-busting games and blows them apart. Strange. Wonder why they have her back. She, and she even changed her script to say Game Shark instead of Action Replay. Uh, yeah, I was expecting the VHS guy, but I guess... I guess not? Alright. <laughs> is this an even smaller list? Oh no. How many games is this? One, two, three... Seventeen games! Wow! So there's even fewer titles with codes than the already pretty lackluster Action Replay did for PC and Windows 95. Wow! Alright. And it's not. it doesn't even have the games I was going to try. No Age of Empires, no Tomb Raider 2... It does at least have Forsaken and StarCraft, so... Alright, let's just try Forsaken first. We just gotta try it out. And this is the original US release, which, if anything should work, it's this. Because again, with the UK Action Replay, you know, the dongle was working fine, the dongle seems to be working fine here, software is doing its thing, but it was the versions of the game I was using that were apparently causing issues because UK versions and US ones, I guess, differ enough. So let's see if this original US release works. And in fact, we can actually double check that that's installed in the correct, or it's looking in the correct spot, which it is. So that's good. We'll go ahead and launch the game. All right, so far so good. We got the code selector, just the trainer program here. Looks like everything is turned on. There's no error messages. This doesn't necessarily mean it'll work, but let, let, let's hope. Because, oh wow, that's right. This, I don't have a 3D accelerator installed, uh, so we're gonna be running this in software mode. <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh, this brings back some late 1997 memories right here. Oh, so chunky. Yeah, 320 by 200. Okay. So we should have infinite everything pretty much. Endless health and ammunition for their special weapons. We'll see. Cheats are not working. Running low on health and uh, out of missiles. Hmm. Well, I am thoroughly confused then. So here's the thing. There's supposed to be, if you look at the help, here's what it would look like if it were detecting the wrong version of the game. It would be like, can't use this code, probably the wrong version of the game, see help. And this is what the help tells you. Not much. It basically just says, if you're getting this code, uh, it, can't, it can't use it with your copy of the game. This means it was made for a different version of the game. Yeah, we pretty much know this, but what version is it looking for? Well, maybe we'll have better luck with StarCraft. Again, original US release here. Let's check it out. Because, yeah, I, that was genuinely my assumption with the action replay not working. Just because I had these US games, not the UK games. Now I'm, I'm just more convinced than ever that this is just a garbage product. So, uh, yeah, let's turn on instant build, free gas and crystals. That's good. Make sure it's in the right spot. It is. Default installation path. Let's go. Oh, oh, that's different. It's not a positive difference, but <laughs> it is different. Yeah, okay, so it's actually putting up the error for this, so it actually has detected one or more codes have failed. I'll just try switching them back on anyway, out of curiosity. <laughs> yeah, I have no expectations of this working, because it at least has detected that it won't really work. That's a different thing. Yay, an improvement. Sort of. Still doesn't work. Man, what the heck is this looking for then? Because again... Original release here. Yeah, and yeah, running out of resources. Not enough minerals. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. This is seriously just pointless then. This whole product. Not StarCraft. StarCraft's amazing, but yeah, Game Shark. You can just type in codes for all sorts of different PC games back in the day. That was just it was part of the experience. Everybody knew that. And even if you didn't know that, that you could type in codes and download your own trainers and then you bought this and you thought this was how you needed to cheat your PC games, it seems to be the chances are that still wouldn't work. Are they just throwing something out there to try and fool people? You know, maybe it did work better with some of the online patches, but uh, what an absolute crapshoot. You have, I have no idea. Again, the dongle's working. Like if I unplug the dongle, all right, unplugged it, go to launch it. Dongle error, can't find dongle. Please insert the dongle into your port. So yeah, it, ah, dropped it. This really is just for DRM, <laughs> copy protection. And uh, you know, it's, it's doing everything through software, but the software just doesn't work. At least with any game that I've thrown at it. I, I think I've tried eight games with it now, some of them off camera too. None of them have worked except for Age of Empires, just a little bit. It worked with some of the codes halfway, uh, but that was it. And these are all unpatched original releases of the games. And um, I don't know, man, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this is a crap product through and through. <laughs> the coolest part about it is the VHS tape. And that's unfortunate. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> that's all for the stupid PC Game Shark. This thing sucks.
I hope you found this enlightening or maybe at least somewhat amusing, I don't know. Check out my action replay video for more backstory and whatnot about this product, even though it's kind of crap. And as always, there are other videos coming out all the time every week here on LGR. So, you know, stick around if that's what you want to do. And as always, thank you very much for watching.